Hi guys, and welcome back to the final episode of the season with Polonia Vosovar, building a nation, said all that backwards, I don't care. I thought we'd start today on the page of Tomasz Kokoszka, who is one of the youngsters that, I don't know, did he come through the youth intake last year, or was he here the year before that? as one of those generated players. Point is, I noticed he was making waves in our sort of underage sides. And when I actually set my under-21s and under-18s to be available looking at it, he was actually matching up quite nicely with some of our better players, even the likes of Piotr Mazlanka. So I've actually tried him out a couple of times uh, in the league over this period, as well as giving Zaborowski some game time. Also, soon there'll be a few more players that will be available for that. Firstly, Zaborowski will count as part of our under-21s. Soon, Filarchuk, uh, Fiorchuk will count as well as part of that too. So that's very, very nice to see, because uh, we're going to need some shadow strikers, and I'm going to be looking for those in the summer, of course. Fun fact, Moto have a 15,500 seated stadium built in 2014 and is spending crazy amounts of money but can't get promoted. Well, yeah, um, it certainly would appear that way and they don't look like they're going to do it this season either. That stadium was mahoosive. Polonia top, being chased closely by Big Shaq FC. Ah, you say that, but they've really dropped off from that early start. Skla, a Big Shaq's latest investment since his newfound fame. Chosen due to the name being reminiscent of the song that catapulted him to fame, the funds elevating them to just behind Polonia. Well, obviously the funds ran out, and I guess man's not hot quite so much as he was before. Currently doing a Polonia Volsify save 2 after being inspired by the series. Second season in, and Polonia, uh, sorry, Polska, League the second league feels much easier. It definitely does, and I don't know why that is. Uh, we've really just been able to walk it. Maybe it's just because you get more cohesion. Apparently, you hold on. You managed to hold on to Suchek, so that's kind of good because we did not have that so much luck. And I feel like with him, we'd probably be even smashing it even more. But I still think like Malik, despite not contributing as many goals as Suchek does, uh, he's been a much better assisting player. I think he's got 11 assists now this season. I found that all sorts of stats are off on FM19. Yeah, I feel like with the analysis, you've got to be careful because I do feel like it's misjudging stuff constantly. Like. As far as I'm understanding this, I thought a key pass was a pass that led to a shot. And sometimes that lines up, and then sometimes it just doesn't. Um, so I, I don't know. It's a bit of a strange one like that. Uh, and they do seem a little bit iffy in terms of the stats there. But what can you do? you just got to try and interpret it the best you can, really. <laughs> anyway, we've had some games off camera. Coming back today to celebrate. We are champions, by the way, as you could obviously probably already tell. Uh, we're going to celebrate our title win today uh, by trying to get to a, a very large points total. So, this was the game that we wrapped up the title with. A 4-2 victory away at uh, pretty much relegated Radunia. Got off to a wonderful start. Malik rolled the ball inside. Mateusz Gora picked it up and smashed it home for 1-0. Uh, he's been hitting the back of the net quite frequently and in different places to where Pichara was. Uh, so, that's nice to see. We then added a second one just after halftime as Catholic rose highest and headed us 2-0 up. Things were looking good. They then did get one back where def we just the defenders did not deal with this. It was three of them and they should have won the header, but they didn't. And it was 2-1. Then, unfortunately, things took a turn as on his first team debut, Kokoschka was sent off for a horrible tackle and we found ourselves down to 10 men and then we really struggled for a period of the game. Thankfully, Conrad Kaslik from another corner was able to head home again and make it 3-1 and sort of kill the game off. They did get a late goal back, though. Uh, the ball at the back post whipped across, uh, sorry, rather headed across, and then there he was to head it home for 3-2 to put us on edge. But thankfully, in stoppage time, we broke away, pelts down the left-hand side, smashed one across to the back post. There was Michel, uh, Mateusz Gora, took one touch to bring it down, another touch to set himself and then fired at home. Uh, so two goals each for Gora and Kasalik in today's game. Some nice, interesting scorers, and we are champions of the division, most importantly. Then we had a very poor result at home against uh, Big Shaq's Skla, and yeah, we, we didn't create anything in this one. Uh, Gora was the only player that even looked worth his salt on the pitch. Don't know why, just a bit of a weird one like that. We tried Zabodowski from the start. He didn't have the best game. Uh, it wasn't ideal. Uh, a clean sheet is fine, but we would have liked to have won this one, considering how well we played against them in the away game. But we then made up for it in our next match at home to Elana Turun, and once again, it was Sebastian Shavshakrai that was the hero of the night. He was man of the match for yet again. He's been absolutely unplayable at times this year. The pass machine gets the ball. Vishnevsky plays it around the corner. Shavshakrai makes that run, holds off the defenders and just pings one yet again. I think that was his seventh league goal of the season. He has been amazing. We then travelled away to Stahl and just continued the run that we've been on. They went down to 10 men very, very early on in this one though. 23 minutes. Took us really a while to get going after that. Thankfully, uh, just before half time, Vishnevsky was able to give us the lead. Yeah, Pelts got the ball into the middle of the pitch, played a wonderful ball to spread the play out wide for Malik. Malik just went past his man, drafted it, drafted it, wafted it across the box, and there was Vishniewski to smash home for 1 0. Unfortunately, they did equalise through an absolute wonder goal uh, from Kitlinski. Just take, I mean, the ball comes to him and he's just absolutely thundered one to the far corner. It was enough to win him man of the match from that one strike alone, which to me is mental when they lost and he didn't do anything else. Thankfully, though, old Conrad was back again. He's been getting some goals lately, his fifth of the season. Admittedly, this time, 
the defender smashes the ball directly at him and it goes in off of his arse, I think. Um, but it doesn't matter. It put us back in the front. And then the youngsters combined. Kokoschka got the ball out on the left-hand side, dinked one to the back post, and there was Zaborowski to head it home. His second senior goal for the club, which is really nice, and a 3-1 win. And in our final off-camera game, it was a pretty relaxed affair. We managed to slide out of the league uh, with a 1-0 victory here. Ball out on the right-hand side with Malik, goes past a couple of players, whips it to the back post, nobody marking Jan Peltz at all, and he's able to slip home for another goal for the season. And Malik was actually mad of the match here, but Peltz, he's really been scoring and assisting like mad this year. He's fantastic. Despite that really good form, we actually haven't managed to uh, introduce much of a gap between ourselves and second place still. Uh, the gap's back up to 24 points, which is what I would say. However, what is worth noting is the fact that we've moved away from Grief quite a lot. We're now 21 points above them. Uh, they've really slipped off, and technically, they could maybe, if they've got a worse um, head-to-head, could lose out still, even though they were so far clear. Down at the bottom, Stormiel, Olympia, and of course, uh, Photo Hygienia are all relegated. Uh, Radunia could still stay up, but it's looking unlikely. As for the rest of him, I mean, look at this. Pachara, only 14 goals in the end, unfortunately, because of his injury. We've not had a single penalty since he's been injured. It's like he won a lot of the penalties we were getting as well. That's very interesting. Malik and Peltz were hot, though, with 11 and 10 assists, respectively, dominating there. Kasalik dominating the average rating with Malik and Peltz as well. Phenomenal stuff. Tobias's 15 clean sheets, amazingly, is somehow still tied, despite the sheer number of like clean sheets we've had this season. But of course, after this, we'll have a look at the other leagues around Poland as well. I'm going to be turning off the uh, league below this. Uh, after this season because there's four of them and it's going to use up way too much it just it will speed up the processing a little bit and i think that's important as we're going to be starting to turn on some other leagues soon in other countries the scout i've got another scout too which is going to help us but they won't let me increase the scouting range yet so i actually forgot to go to the match day before starting the recording the more you know but as you can see also just looking at the other leagues two teams still unbeaten we won't be able to see how those leagues finish straight away because they finish really late just on a total side note, we've been miles behind uh, Viswa for most of the season. And we've just been on an amazing run. And I think they must have lost their final day. They did. They lost. And we were able to overtake them on the final day of the season um, to win our under-18s league. And look at the goal difference we've had. What a season for the youngsters as well. Lots of great performances in there. Really nice to see. And apparently, we're in the playoffs. So potentially, we could get promoted? I don't know. Right, we're actually on the correct day now, so let's get into the match. And uh, Krobri still have something to play for. They could still get in the playoffs, amazingly. So for today, I'm going to go with pretty much what we've been going with the last few games. We've been trying out Kokoschka. I want to see him get some more game time. Um, yeah, and Peltz. Oh, well, we also played Nipek in goal because we got an injury to Tobias, and he's still not back yet. So Nipek will come in and... Wow, look at this. Look at his rating. We'll go with the same lineup, really. The ones that have got us this far. Peltz, Vishniewski, Gora, Malak, Zavshikrai, Kolbon, Jakšić, Kasalik, Zebodovsky, Nipek in goal, of course, and Kokoschka at left back. I think he's going to do a job for us soon. Unfortunately, they do appear to be playing the Marian Lee system. So we might have to go to the expressive thing that we did in the second half last time. I actually can't remember how many points we're on. Okay, so we're on 82 points. If we win here, we can go on to 85 points from a 34-game season. That is an outrageous... We've broken all sorts of records for wins and points already. I'm going to have us distribute to the fullbacks, though. Right, let's see how we do. I feel like we should be winning this one, but they've got a lot more to play for than we do. Um, but the, when you look at the teams that we've lost to this season, uh, we lost to Grief, we lost to one of the other sides, but we also lost to Rook. That's the most surprising one, that 2-0 defeat in that game. Kokoschka, not the best head of clearance, but it's going to come back in. Oh, and they've scored. Bartosz Mashai gives them an early lead over the champions, and that's the lead that could send them into the playoffs. So they've got a lot more to play for than we do, but that doesn't mean we're not going to try. Uh, this was poor defending from us, unfortunately. Um, Kokoschka's header here is not good, and we weren't really able to deal with it from then on either. And we don't do well here either. Like That is not good play from anyone in the defence there, and it's 1-0 to Krobri. Okay. Ooh, they've really come out to party here, it would seem. They, they are determined to get the result here. I guess our players are somewhat on the beach, and now they're 2-0 up. Our defenders are not tracking runners. They're not doing anything. They are firmly on the beach, which is weird, considering we've not really looked like that in the last couple of matches. And after two, after five minutes, we are 2-0 down here away at Krobri. Um, And they are looking very, very good. Look at this. He just goes straight past him. Like, that's defending that we've not seen, like, the likes of it all season. We've been so much better than that. It's so bad. They could be about to deliver our record defeat this year. Kasalik saved and blocked off the line. We nearly got back in the match. We've got a lot of work to do, though. Like, we often win games, like, 1 or 2 nil very often. So to expect us to score three goals to try and win this is probably quite an ask. But I don't know. If anyone can, it's this team, Kasalik. Maybe playing the youngsters like Kokoschka as well isn't helping. Uh, but I just wanted to give them some first-team experience while we can, you know. Gora. 
Uh, what a pass from Mateusz Gora. He's been good since coming in. We need a Jan Peltz back post move here. Oh, he's gone to the edge of the box for Zavchikora instead. Vishnevsky, turn it off! It's in! It's an own goal. That's very unfortunate for their goalkeeper. But what an initial strike that was from Bartosz Vishnevsky. We're only 17 minutes into this match and it's already an absolute humdinger on the final day of the season. Krobri thought they'd got it here. Zavchikora drops it off for Vishnevsky. What about this for a strike? Bang! Oh! <laughs> Unfortunate for the keeper, but we're back in the match. Come on. We are far from done. I sense we've got more in the tank. Pelts his ball. And it's a penalty. We now have a penalty two minutes later. Come on, Vishnevsky. What a comeback this would be. A two-minute comeback. Um, this is where we could do with Pichara, but P Vishnevsky, as far as I know, has never missed one for us. And it's still not... Wow. What a comeback. We were 2-0 down, and now it's 2 all here. Um... In the space of two minutes, we've come from two... Then again, we did fall behind in the space of three minutes. And now we've pegged them back completely. And now I hope that we can go on and grab the victory here. What a game. They are not letting us have much of the ball at all. Zemborowski, it's in the back of the net. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. Mateus Malik puts it over the line. We're 3-2 up. We were. We fell three... We fell... Oh, my God. We fell 2-0 down in the first half. And before half time, we've, let, we've got in front. Look at this. Absolute pinball. Look at this. It's 3-2 to Polonia Vosova. What a first half this has been. The fans have certainly, if nothing else, been gifted an incredibly good football match to watch. Um, then again, if you're a Crowbury fan, you're probably watching your team throw away a 2-0 lead. Um, not ideal. But then again, have they got more in the tank? Ball out wide. Uh, they've not tracked the runner for some reason. If you could maybe track the runner. Oh, headed past the post. Surely not a fourth before half time. Yaks it. Can he put the cross? He might. Zavs your cry. Smashes it over the crossbar. Wow, what a first half. 2-0 down in six minutes. And then find ourselves 3-2 up at half time with an own goal, a penalty, and an absolute Benny Hill sketch. Wow. Uh, so Grief are winning their game, as are Pogon, though. So there's still something to play for there. What are we doing in the second half? Knocked into the midfield. Knocked down again. Right, here we go again. Pelts. Every time we get the ball, it's just going to be breakaway time. Oh, Vishnevsky's through. Can he get there? He can. Oh, my God. They've buggered it up again. It's a hat trick for Bartosz Vishnevsky. We're 4-2 up now in this match. What? I mean, he has now um, triggered an automatic extension. So he will be here one more year, no matter what. Um, Pelts his ball over the top. Oh, my God. Look at this. The defender and goalkeeper muck it up again, and it's 4-2 to Polonia Vosova. We're four up now. What a game. point I was trying to make is it's not actually his uh, last appearance with the club. Oh, wait, Hattrick. No, he didn't score the first one, did it? Because it was a bloody own goal. Uh, but he's basically contributed to three goals today. So fair play to old Bartosz. Yaksik. Zavsha cry. You might fancy another one, and it's a great tip round the side. Uh, I would never have expected us to come back. We've scored four goals in an away match. Uh, brilliant there. The own goal was a bit unfortunate, but Vishnevsky was an absolute star in this match. He really should have had a hat trick. Got the pen, then scored an absolute lovely one as well. Um, well, no, he didn't, did it? It was just pure luck, and so was the Mateus Malik goal. So very fortunate to be in the position we are, but we did get the victory over the line. Best defense, best attack. 85 points on the board. Wow. What a season we've had. Still managed to lose three times, but 27 wins is unreal. If we carry even a fraction of this quality into the division above, I think we'll be fine and can really have a proper battle, particularly with the money we've saved recently. And it is so, so nice to see uh, what a season we've had. Champions of the Polish third tier were up into the second tier in only like seven episodes. Definitely the shortest season I've done of one of these types of saves anyway, but I just thought it was necessary. Plus 45 goal difference. Grief are coming up with us as well, which makes sense. They've been very, very good this year. And they're the only team that probably have a better head-to-head -head against us. Now, of course, we don't actually know how this one's going to finish because there are still some more games to be played, but it looks like Legia are probably going to go up uh, given the fact that they've not lost a match this season. Um, top score in this division, 11 goals. How? Moving across one and Legia. Oh, they have lost one. They were, they were also unbeaten uh, up until very recently. I thought they were going to go a full season unbeaten as well, but it turns out no, but they have got 85 points on the board as well after 32 matches. So they're actually having a better season than we are, which is mental. And the other one, lots and lots of second teams all of a sudden appearing in these leagues. Presumably they all got promoted last season and are just sort of working their way up the league. It does make me wonder if in the future our second team will actually get into the league system and see how far they might be able to go because they'll be stacked one day. Because literally all the leagues except this one all were dominated by the second sides, the B teams of these leagues. So that's interesting. In the Fortuna League, uh, so that's how it... Uh, yeah, so La Liolia. What was that? I just said some some letters there. They're going back up. Um, looking at the top flight now. This is where the action is. Um, so Legia... Wow, okay. So Legia aren't actually winning the, the top division. In fact, they've already not lost. They've already been... Yeah, th that's amazing. 
That seems like it's a big deal. Do let me know in the comments if that's a big deal, because I can't see any the last time that they actually won the league. Okay, so I've just looked back. I don't think they've ever won the league. So that's that's amazing. Super, super happy for Lechia. They've won the Polish... They've won the extra classer, and Pogon actually came second in it, which is amazing. That, that's really, really cool. Again, if anything stands out to you as being awesome, let me know. Just looking at the relegation group as well. Piast to come down. They've had a really poor season, and I think a lot of the sides that went up last year are also returning to uh, the... Uh, Fortuna League, which is what will be in next season. Anyway, I mean, look at this. Our entire season, we, all of our losses were clustered in the month of March. It's really, really weird. We didn't lose a game outside of the month of March this season. And during the month of March, we lost three of our five matches. Really, really strange. Um, but to be fair, they were against pretty so solid sides. You know, playoff side and Radiomac. Um, Grief obviously came up as second place. Rook's the only one that really did shock me. We were really, really bad in that match. Uh, it might have been that I was rushing that one a little bit just to try and get some stuff done at the time. So maybe that was it. Maybe if I paid more attention. I don't know. Point is, what a season. What a season. And if you have enjoyed it, drop a like on the video. That'd be awesome. And if you're looking forward to next season, do the same thing. That'd be dope as well. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. That'd be fantastic. And I would join you guys uh, later on for some analysis. Might not record that today, might record that tomorrow. Depends on how I feel. Um, Because I'm a bit under the weather at the moment. So just bear that in mind. And uh, yeah, transfer window after that. It's going to be fun. I still don't have it because it's only been a week. I still don't have the right stuff to do a costume, but I will bring out the pimp suit for you. So at least I'm doing something on that one. Uh, for those of you that don't know, it's a thing from Stockport where we did the transfer pimp. Don't worry, it will look stupid. Anyway, I'll see you guys soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.